So we know that blanket bogs provide a huge natural storage facility for both water and carbon. And we also know that due to a lack of understanding about what blanket bogs are and what they do for the balance of so many fragile ecosystems, vast areas have been damaged and even destroyed. But it's not too late. Through education, through careful management and through a planned programme of restoration and prevention, the Life Active Blanket Bog in Wales project will prevent further deterioration of the bogs and, when possible, re-establish blanket bogs where they have been damaged. A tall order, but it can be done. Let's look at the threats and what can be done to tackle them. Firstly, the legacy that the historical ditches have left is being tackled head-on in the two areas covered by the project. help of farmers and landowners, ditches are being filled in to stop water draining from the peat. After extensive research, heather bales have been used to form dams and block drains. A shallow scoop of peat is dug out to allow the bales to be put in. They are then covered with a scooped out peat and vegetation replaced on the surface. The heather for the bale dams will be collected by mowing two metre strips on the dry heath habitat adjoining the blanket bog. These strips will also serve as fire breaks, protecting the blanket bog from fire. As the majority of blanket bog is stocked with sheep, the key thing is to obtain the correct level of grazing. This can only be done by working with farmers and landowners developing management that not only preserves the blanket bog, but allows them to maintain their stock. The problem of afforestation and non-native plant varieties will also be tackled head-on, by removing them. Areas of good blanket bog that were historically planted with trees will be deforested, and Sitka spruce trees which have planted themselves will be cut down. Where rhododendron is infringing on blanket bogs, it'll be cut down, and the area monitored for new growth, which will be continually cut back. Education is also a very important part of any conservation plan, and the Life Blanket Bog Project is no exception. Through school visits, guided walks and information for farmers, landowners and managers, the project is determined to bring the importance of this delicate environment to the fore. The Life Active Blanket Bog Project in Wales is committed to maintaining and restoring two key areas of blanket bog in North Wales. Mignain Tarenig Dialt and the Berwyn and South Clwyd Mountains have both been granted special areas of conservation status and, over five years, the project will make significant and sustained improvements to the blanket bogs of these areas. This will be achieved by blocking over 100 kilometres of drains, removing non-native self-seeding species such as Sitka spruce and rhododendron from over 1,000 hectares of blanket bog, removing plantation trees from over 300 hectares of bog, involving local schools, groups and farmers to raise awareness of the importance of our bog and the best ways to help safeguard it. This environment around me is active blanket bog. It's still forming peat, it's still working. And if it's to carry on working, it needs careful management and maintenance. And any human intervention must be from the standpoint of empathy and understanding for the balance of this beautiful landscape. This is a gift from nature and we must look after it. Only by doing that will it work for future generations. If it's broken, there will be consequences and not good ones. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Thank you for your interest. <laughs>